Hello there and welcome to part 2 of the Battle of River Sabis, 47, uh, 57 BC I mean. Um, and what have you seen in part 1? Well, we see the Romans in lead to, to one the victory banners. A lot of action happening here. The, uh, the Nervi tribe were uh, crossing the, the river here and gained a foothold slightly here we have one unit left uh, here after that attack but the romans managed under the leadership of caesar to counterattack and drive them back over the river uh, also killing some units here uh, and maybe the most dramatic thing was that uh, uh, the leader of uh, the nervi here uh, bodognatis uh, was killed or maybe captured when he uh, returned back from a eliminated unit to a uh, um, to an allied unit and then got attacked again and probably um, captured there. So that was dramatic uh, and that's why we have two uh, victory banners even though only one uh, of the Belgic tribe units have been eliminated. So what else? Over here not that much happening. Over here we have seen the Romans trying to get their reinforcements uh, towards the center line. Um, some skirmishing happening over there, otherwise pretty silent on the flanks. The things uh, in the center has been the, the important ones. So we're going to continue from here and it's the Belki tribes who go next. Let's see what they can play. A, B or C. So we have an outflanked. We have heavy troops, which they have none. And we have a mounted charge. So outflanked, we could... Um, yeah, that could be interesting. Um, one idea I had with that, that we would play the outflank this turn, actually attack with the cavalry already, or at least put the cavalry in a ready state. We could attack with some other units, and then um, in the next turn we might be able to play the mountain charge to continue with uh, with the attack here. I think that might be really cool actually and we could also bring in some reinforcements for the uh, guy here to, towards the center towards the real uh, battle we also have this wild one who could be activated in the outflanked actually we could get the banner from this uh, th because this one i don't think we can move them back to their own lines they would just reach this one these hexes here and then they will be eliminated so i think we might fight with these guys to the end and we could use him with an outflank card so actually gonna do that it also would be good to just get rid of the this bad card but we'll leave that for now we play the outflanked and here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna activate this guy and i'm gonna um uh, Activate that guy over here. I will actually charge and I will attack out from here So these guys ch Charge here these guys go here Let's put it down like this in case we're gonna do some um, Ranged combat these guys will just move within the woods towards the center and here we're gonna stay and battle Okay, so let's start from here then. Uh, I'm gonna attack that lone block unit with one, with only one block, with three dice. Hoping to get one hit. We did get it, the blue, so we eliminate these guys. And we get a banner for that, of course, so it's two to two now. We could gain ground and attack again. If I don't, I will just get attacked and killed anyway. Maybe we can cause some damage before we go down. So I'm gonna gain ground and attack. Mm. Would be nice to get up here, but since these guys will just evade, I will not be able to gain the ground. So I might as well just attack the leader unit here. I know it's a suicide action, but we might do some damage before we go down. And we certainly did. We got two hits on the legionaries. Really good roll. And we need to check the leader. 
if he didn't su don't survive, they need to retreat as well. But he survived, so he will um, just discard that flag, and then we're gonna battle back with four dice. That should spell the end of these guys. Yeah, they got three hits in thanks to the leader support, so these guys are now eliminated. But they managed to do some valuable damage before they went down. We now have the Romans in lead three to two. Over here, then, well, I'm gonna actually. Hmm. Let's talk with Auxilia then. That's three dice. Very good roll. Two hits, and I didn't want the retreat flag this time, and I didn't. So, uh, we have a good chance to kill this with the warriors next in the next attack. But they will first battle back against Auxilia. And no hits, but they forced them back. So these guys just did a kind of a diversion attack and then went back to the woods. But a good one, killing off two. So now maybe the warriors can finish the job here with four dice, needing, needing two hits. We got two hits, and that's enough. Really good charge here. So we now evened out the score again, three to three. We will for short green ground and attack these guys who will try to evade. Let's see if we hit any, any of them first. Nope, so they got away. And that's it. I think that was a pretty good attack by the bell guy there. Okay, Romans. A or B for the Romans. So we have the heavy troops, we have medium troops, and we have a coordinated attack being one in each section. Okay, so what could we do with the heavy troops? These guys could go over and attack somewhere, and we could get these guys onto the river, and that's it. That's not bad at all. That's not bad at all, actually. With the medium troops, we could get both Caesar and these guys up onto the river and still do some other stuff. We could actually counter charge that guy with the cavalry. Um, we could get these guys even more into combat here. Lots of stuff. Uh, and then we had the coordinated attack in the B slot, so we could do something here. Something in the center and something over here. Hmm. I don't know. I think I actually go with a with a blue medium troops. Six of them. But I'm a bit hesitating to attack these guys with the cavalry. <clears throat> it could be painful. We could at least maybe lose one of our cavalry in that, but the second one. If we just get some hits in the, in the first one, the second one could hit and then maybe inflict uh, a flag and attack again. That would be nice, of course. Let's see now which ones we can activate first of all. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Should I do it? I have to say I'm a bit tempted. We will get countercharged by those guys. We know that. And that could break our flank. Maybe we should be a bit more careful then and not actually do it. But it scares me a bit. We don't have that much to counter these guys with. We are getting a bit weak here as a Romans. That bothers me a bit. Mm. We might even need to send over some from the 10th Legion to meet these guys. Let's see then. So, two more units. Let's then add these two. Now it's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Yes. So, Caesar will march down up on the river. These guys will also go up on the river. They can throw some peel up. Here we're gonna. March towards the river as well. Cavalry in support. These guys and these guys. 
just marching towards the um, river there. Okay, so let's start with some battles. So here we're gonna throw the Pila up on the hill with one die. And we hit them. What an amazing shot. Uh, so long range Pila attack, right? Uh, and upwards to the hill, but they managed to shower these guys with so much spears or javelins that they are actually fleeing from that hill. We got another banner. Great one. Then, um, by the way, I did only go one hex, I hope, with those guys. If I went two, I should not be able to throw the pillar, but I don't remember where they started from. Caesar was here. I think it was only on one, so I think that was okay. Because Caesar did the two, he was up here, yeah. So, but since Caesar is with these guys, even though they march two hexes, they can attack. And they will do that. So that's two dice because of the terrain, but Caesar gives me a third one. And can you believe it? Caesar is on fire. He hits them with all dice, eliminating these guys, getting the fifth dice for the Romans. And this actually means that Caesar is able to be on, on I guess, the northern side of the river Savis now. So, okay, it's a difficult and a dangerous place to be in, but, you know, he's uh, supported by the woods. He has troops coming to his aid pretty soon. So, yeah, this is cool. And here we have nothing, uh, so an amazing turn by the Romans, getting two victory banners, killing a three block unit here and managing with a pila to dislodge these uh, warriors from that hill. Amazing. Okay. How can the Belgae retaliate here? C or lowest order count. That would be the mounted charge or one unit. Well, the mounted charge cannot now reach anything, so I will not do that. So I can only order one unit probably then with a red card. That's a bit bad, but we need to do it. And what should we do? I should get myself from that baseline. That's a very dangerous place to be when Caesar is in the vicinity. Uh, because if we start retreating, we might die off pretty soon. So I think... This really sucks. Oh man, this is tough. This is tough for the barbarian side now how can we i mean this is such such a strong unit there and caesar will attack if we get the chance so we need to attack him yeah anyway i'm gonna play the heavy troops and i'm gonna attack with these guys they will march two and attack caesar in the woods with two dice no lead support Unfortunately, but we managed to get one hit. That's good because now we at least have to check Caesar. Oops, don't rush away. And that was really close, but not enough. So Caesar will now retaliate with two, three dice out from the woods. I think you get only two dice when you attack out from the woods. Or do you? At least in is two, it should be two out as well. Hmm. Bothers me a bit. I need I think I need to check that. Hold on. Yeah, battling out is two dice, so we get three thanks to Caesar. And that's two hits on the warrior. Oh my. Okay, okay. That's all. Well, at least they got rid of that bad card in their hand. But it's the Romans again. And he has, Caesar has the momentum now. That's a D or E for the Romans. So we have only cards we don't know of. 
um, to center suits uh, Caesar. We have leadership any section. We could order all these three. That's amazing. And we have an outflanked. Hmm. Well. Two unit center. I think I want to get out of that river. So I'm going to play the leadership any section and I will attack with Caesar. So that will be Caesar and actually three more units. We only have two linked. Ah, hold on. Maybe we should not. Let's play the two in the center instead. So I'm going to do Caesar and I'm going to do these guys. These guys will rush up on the river. They cannot battle. Caesar will now march one hex forward to make those guys not able to retreat and then he will attack that warrior unit with five dice two hits needed i think that will spell the doom for those i think this might be the turning point now when caesar is over there just roaming around killing everything um yeah lots of hits these guys are dead we got another victory banner caesar will gain ground and he will attack again and this time he will attack Those guys up on the hill will evade, but then they will be on the baseline. These guys might be a bit tough to try to get out of there. We will get three dice. They are supported. I will attack here, and they will they will evade. Yeah, or try to. So we're gonna roll three dice. No hits, but these guys go there. We cannot gain ground though. But that's the situation. This is hard for the bill guy for sure. It's a really difficult situation for them. Well, at least Caesar is out in, out in the open, so if we could gather up some troops to attack, that would be good. Let's see if, if they manage to do that. Bill guy. C or lowest order count. We only have one card up, so we're gonna reveal one card. That's three, it's three on the right. But that's good enough. I'm gonna play that. Three on the right, over there. So now we're gonna counterattack Caesar. And we're gonna attack here. And bring in some cavalry to the fight. So the cavalry will move one, two. The warriors will move up one. These guys will hmm. I might end up in a place where I'm not wanting to be. I will actually do like this. Then we're gonna try to attack. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. We are there. We're gonna go one, two. Caesar is trapped. This might be a desperate fight for Caesar now. You can see him, he's trapped there now. He's having, he's pretty much surrounded. He has a link here, but you know, that legionary unit is in a really bad place now. This is also a, like in history, even though it would be over here, but they were pretty much surrounded, some of the legionary units uh, uh, in the historical fight. Uh, but Caesar were there, you know, rallying them, urging them. He even in the battle, when, when this happened in the real battle, Caesar, Caesar went in the first line, you know, he, he went into the fray and, and um, uh, that inspired his men to, to fight because their leader were also fighting in the first line. So this is pretty much what's happening here. So let's see, who should we attack with first then? Uh, these guys will get three dice and three dice. Both of them eligible for attacking again. I mean, bonus combat. Um, these guys can ignore two flags, but they're more fragile. So let's start with the warriors from there. That's three dice. 
downhill attack against Caesar, and we have leader support. And then these guys miss them completely. Caesar will retaliate with three dice as well, uphill, but Caesar giving one extra die, and he hits with three. As I said, he is on fire. He might damn survive this. Okay. Um, that was a huge blow against the Belgai plan. Uh, then we have. What should we do next then? We do the cavalry then. Three dice. Come on. Okay, now we got two hits on these legionaries. And we need to check Caesar. He's good. He will now battle back with five dice. This is dangerous, but we can ignore two flags. But we might as well die with that cavalry. Um, well, they got two hits on the cavalry. And we need to check that leader. He's good. We have one unit left. They will attack with two dice. No more leader support. And we need one hit. And we didn't get it. That's crazy. Amazing. So Caesar will attack back, or battle back with three dice. Two hits and the flag. The flag, luckily for these guys, they can ignore it because they cannot take any flags really. Uh, but two hits, and now it looks very hairy for the barbarians, to be honest. Uh, Caesar survived that uh, three pronged attack against him. And now it's their turn. Caesar got the C or lowest order count. So that's medium troops. Or let's see now. That would be two units. This is more than two. These also and these. Okay, so it needs to be medium troops or the heavies that's a dilemma uh, that's a dilemma because um, either we try to save caesar with the c card the, the medium heavies he can go back to that woods uh, hex there or Yeah, this is this is hard. It's not easy. The thing is, though, I need to save Caesar, so I, I think I have to play the the blue order medium troops, and that's six of them. So one, two. Now I'm gonna go forward with these guys because, as you can see. The camp is really open now, so we could try to take that and we get a victory banner for that. So I'm gonna go full ahead towards that one now. Uh, I might do attack with one of these on, on the way there. Let's see. But that's one, two, three, four. Um, five and six. So these guys, they will just charge right here they cannot battle this turn but they're gonna hinder some guys from reaching caesar and he will go here he can now ignore two flags as long as the situation is like this these guys will now go one two these guys will also enter the river over here and here we're gonna I wonder if I should attack these guys on the river, but that would be two dice on both. The good thing is we can follow up for any attacks. Well, let's do that. These guys will go one, two, three. I cannot battle, and this goes one, two, three, and we'll attack here with two dice. 
I hope I can just get him off that, get the heat in the flag and then can attack again. That's what I'm hoping for. No, but I hit at least. They will battle back with two. Oh, a flag. That was bad. One, two, three. They were pushed back to their initial positions. Well, this is alone here now and can't, can get attacked, but there's no panic. It's good. Uh, Caesar could actually battle. No, he cannot. He's the, it's a medium heavy. They cannot battle when they enter woods. Sorry. So that's the end of that turn. No peel attacks either. Well, these guys went two, I believe. These don't have any targets. So I think that's over then with this turn. So it's the bill guy again. A, B or C. We have the mounted charge. We might use that now. But let's see first what we have. Move, fire, move. Two mounted charge. Can you believe that? Okay, so let's play one of them. Now I'm going to attack here. Um, these are the, the last guards of the camp, so I'm going to attack here. And these guys will... Okay, these guys are unsupported, so I dare attack them. I'm gonna, I need to make use of these cards as good as possible now. So, no movement here, so I'm going to attack there first. Yeah, that would give me four dice, and we have the support. Very important roll. And that was a really, really good roll because that's three hits. And we also forced them back. So we can go after them, attack again with four dice. We can actually go one more hex, but I don't want to do that. So we kill them. So the guy that went to protect Caesar that unit just got wiped out. We don't gonna gain ground and we get the fourth banner for the Belgai tribes, the Nervii. So it's now six to four. So I stay there, bad position. We cannot, uh, maybe I should, maybe I should gain ground so I can evade. Here I cannot evade, you know, I am blocked. Here I can evade at least. So let's do that. Here then, four dice. In the cavalry battle happening over here we got two hits and a flag the flag was important two hits one two three they need to go up on the river we cannot reach them so i will stay here yeah that's how it went well heavy fighting continues but you know Caesar needs, the Romans need two more banners and we have lots of places to get it. So I'm a bit, yeah, I think this might end this turn already. Romans, and they got a good selection of cards, A, B or C. Let's see, heavy troops, that might be enough. Light troops, coordinator attack and the C card is uh, inspired left leadership we don't have any leader on the left side so we cannot play that really or we could but that's only one unit of my choice then uh, the coordinator attack we could of course counter charge here again and in the center we could attack someone or something on the left hand side we don't or, or sorry, yeah, on the left hand side over there, the right hand side for the Romans, sorry. Um, not super good options, really. Um, if you play the heavy troops, then we could attack here, but then we need one more. The good thing with a coordinate attacker is that we could save Caesar. He could relocate to another unit. Yeah, maybe we should do that. Yeah, let's do that. So I'm going to play the coordinate attack. 
that gives me the chance to relocate Caesar from that crippled unit. So over here I'm going to do a cavalry counter charge. Here I'm gonna, only going to do Caesar. And on the right hand side, well, what should we do? Let's just move forward. Or maybe we should could do the same thing here. We're going to reattach our leader here. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So, here, we charge. One, two, three. Caesar will now jump over to one of the units on the 10th Legion. This guy, he has a few options. He could go to the cavalry, he could go to this one, and he or he could go to this one. Uh, I think I'll relocate myself here. We have enough leaders in the center section. So there's only one attack to do. And that's three dice against that cavalry unit there. And no leaders, so no hits. They will battle back. No hits either. So they're just... Uh, Bouncing back against each other there. Nothing really happening. Okay. Well, doesn't end yet. The bell guy got one more chance. They also got an A, B, or C. Let's move, fire, move. Three units right. We could attack here again. Or we could do another mounted charge. And we're gonna make use of that card, I think. Yeah, we're gonna do that. So I play the mounted charge again. They are relying on their cavalry now, even though I think the ner Nervii was not the, not too famous about the cavalry, really. But um, maybe now maybe these are from the other tribes. So here we're gonna just attack. Or should we get these guys? No, let's attack those guys. And then uh, here, I just stay here and attack in the woods. Sorry, that one. Okay, we do that attack first. That will be three dice and leader support. One hit needed. We got it. Bang. Killed off that unit. We got the fifth banner. And we're gonna actually take the ground. Here we're just gonna do another attack. That's uh, four dice. Thanks to the mounted charge card. So we got one hit and the flag. Making these guys retreat. One, two, three. And we won't, will not gain ground there. So we are defending our camp really aggressively here with the cavalry. And they are doing successfully holding off two Roman cavalry units here. They are fighting real good. And we are slowly evening out the game, but still there are so many weakened units that the Romans can attack, so I'm not sure it's enough. Uh, and it's a Romans again. C or lower story count once again. So that would be left inspired left leadership, which is not good for them. And the lowest order count would be two units. Uh, Yeah, it would be that one or that one. So I'm going to play the heavies because that doesn't make sense. So the heavy troops. So now we have 10th Legion and now we have Caesar here. So you can go two hexes and attack. So this might uh, be enough, actually. Um, let's see now. Caesar can march to an attack. So he's going to actually go there. These guys will go here to black the block these guys' retreat path and attack them. That's the plan. So let's start here. They will now get two dice because they're attacking the river. Now we got two hits, so we kill that unit. We got the seventh banner. Do we want to gain ground? If we do that, we can attack again, but we are in a bad position, so I will not do that. I'm happy here. Then we have Caesar. He has a few options. He could attack this guy with 
actually six dice. Uh, two flags will be enough. We can attack here with three dice. Or here with three dice. But these guys can evade, so that's not a good option. So three dice and one hit needed, or six dice with a few... I mean, this, this thing is, this is um, supported. So I'm going to actually attack the light infantry there. Hoping to get, if I get two flags, it's enough. And I have six dice, five for the unit, and one for Caesar. Boosting. Let's see. No flags and actually only three hits. It's not over. And that's not all. We're gonna battle back with the lights as well. Two dice. And they don't hit with these uh, dice results, so no hits on Caesar's 10th Legion there. Okay, I thought it would be over actually, but not yet. So the bell guy have one more chance. They need three banners. It's not easy to pluck those three, that's for sure. See all over story count for the build guy. So we have move, fire, move, or three units right, which would be these, or some of these three. Hmm. The move, fire, move could get me off that baseline and even get these guys a bit to hide somewhere. Maybe we should do that. Move, fire, move. Hmm, that will give me four units to move far more. Otherwise, three units here, and what could that be? I mean, Caesar needs one more victory banner, and he will attack here next time for sure, so um, we should get that guy out. Yeah, we need to play the move far move then. Four units, and it'll be these guys, it'll be these guys. What else? Let's take these guys. Then we can do one more. Um. Let's take these then. Okay, so these guys will move here. These guys will stay for the first movement. These guys will go here. And these guys will go here. Like that. So, some fire then. These guys, one die against Ooh, there's no chance for us to get any victory banners really so what we could do now is to harass as much as possible I guess um, but we could I mean you could get one hit on these guys it doesn't really matter we better if we could get the fire on these guys right so I'm gonna actually take that as my target from here one die nope uh, I'll leave it open because I'm gonna maybe move it again and this, these guys will attack caesar they have not moved so two dice there's no reds one die from here against caesar nope one die from here against that medium heavy and there we got a hit then i can move once more these guys will now step back into the woods these guys will now run away one, two. These guys will also run away. One, two. These guys will actually go up on the hill. That's it. That was the bell guy turn then. Romans. D or E. Three unit center. 
inspired any section uh, or leadership any section uh, outflanked we need one so I'm gonna play three in the center 10th Legion will try to end this we also get that in case we need it so Caesar will stay these guys will march here these guys will march here this should do it right so let's start with uh, Caesar himself he's gonna attack these units they cannot evade so we got three dice one hit needed here it is they go down the Romans get their eighth banner and game over so it's eight to five in the end and um, pretty solid victory there for the Romans uh, I mean we saw in early on in the battle that the Romans did turn the tide and went on the offensive as soon as the first attack of the Bilgaia was uh, you know losing power here on the other side of the river they just went over and couldn't get pushed back anymore even though they tried and they also tried here with some cavalry charges well they made some damage on the roman cavalry but not enough to gain some victory banners but at least they prevented the romans from getting their camp over here it was pretty much silent all the time um, we had some battles on this section when we had this lone isolated uh, guy unit fighting until the end there uh, the roman camp was never in danger really because i don't think the belgai went any longer than the hex behind the river any at any point of time so i would say this was a solid roman victory lots of units in the dead pile as you can see on both sides so heavy losses on both sides but the romans well managed to route the uh the belgai in the end and uh, of course when Bodognatus fell that broke the spine of the of the Bilgai will I believe uh, the other leaders fought, fought on but I mean these guys will also of course be captured now pretty much um, so that's it so all in all a fun battle lots of things happening and uh, lots of options I, I believe you could you could play it very differently I mean you could as a Roman player you could pretty much as in in the um, historical happening you could drift over with the 10th legion over there and just try to hold out here you know with the legionaries you have here and push on that camp and then maybe drive towards the center eventually um over here you could also i, I believe do it a bit differently you could go straight forward i was aiming my uh legionaries that came from here to towards the center to in, in the big fight in the center i think this might have come from that uh, section i'm not sure uh because i think there were three legionaries yes i think these guys might have been or was one eliminated here? i don't remember really no i think these guys is one of them so uh, yeah you have some options and also the bell guy well you're kind of pressed you need to attack since you have this war machine here from the beginning you have bow units here right so you're just getting showered with missiles if you don't attack so you need to but it's difficult to get this over this river and you of course get the inevitable uh, roman counterattack coming after that anyway fun fun game i like this scenario really much it's really cool uh but i think it's really really hard for the bell guy to win i don't know what the rate would be i need to check that on commandsandcolors.com because you have statistics there you can see how many you know the percentage of uh, victories for each side and i would guess the romans have a big big majority of victories in this scenario i would imagine okay that's it i believe um i'm not sure what the next scenario will be actually i haven't checked that out yet but uh probably a continuing uh, the gallic war uh further on from here but i don't recall what scenario that could be we should also have Karai coming up in the Far East pretty soon, but we'll see when that comes in the scenario range of Commands and Colors battles. 
anyway thank you guys for watching and uh, hope you enjoyed this battle it was intense and um even though we have a eight to five victory um that might suggest of an even game it kind of was i mean it could with some other circumstances or maybe some other results ended up actually in a in a bell guy victory and not yeah it could have but um what I wanted to say really is it was a solid victory, even though uh, we have a fairly even count in banners. So. so again, thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.